It's time for the best weekly NBA blooper segment on the planet. It's time for No Dunks Whoopsies. Uh, this doesn't look like a whoopsie. That's just a nice layup there from Bam Adebayo. Right. Clippers have the ball. Uh, Reggie Jackson calls timeout. What's wrong with that? Hmm. Huh. Something amiss there. I'm not quite sure what it is. Reggie calls a timeout. He gets it. Ah, the Clippers don't have any. Oh, oh the, well, he's, <laughs> I, is that a celebration? or <laughs> What is that? Weird. Serge seems to be enjoying it, whatever it is. You'd think Serge would be rubbing Reggie, but Reggie is rubbing <laughs> Serge. What's going on? I uh, watch Derrick Rose on the inbounds play, and no, it's not an outbounds play. Derrick Rose just tosses it. <laughs> <laughs> How come one. NBA players have such trouble sometimes just inbounding the ball? <laughs> uh, from that same game, we have LeBron and Blake Griffin. Now, LeBron kind of kind of catches Blake there on the face. Gets called for a foul. Uh, kind of. LeBron's like, I, I, I didn't touch him. Blake's like, I'm a better actor than you. See? <laughs> the ref's bought it. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, King. <laughs> Listen to TNT's Kevin Harlan explain what so many of us have had to experience day after day after day in 2020. Listen. Okay, join a meeting. Join with video. I'm on Zoom. Inside, there's a shot by Lillard who puts it up and through. You're excited just to be on Zoom, huh? Okay. I'm on Zoom. (laughs) At a power outage here in the basement, which is always fun. Ah, uh, Kevin Harlan, he's the best, isn't he? Ah, uh, here we go, the Raptors and the Kings. Fast break here. Spicy P goes up, and donk! Oh, wedgie. Not many things have gone right for Spicy P this season, but at least he's getting a wedgie. Maybe that will trigger his season, get it off uh, to a better start than he's had so far. Ooh. Two whoopsies on the same play here for the Knicks. Emmanuel quickly is hit by his own teammate, but gets awarded a three-point foul call. And then huh. the swim celebration, getting in his laps. <laughs> I guess public pools are closed, maybe, just getting it in. Haven't seen that swim celebration uh, before. Okay, here's the Mavericks, and here comes Chris Tapps, Porzingis. He's going to dunk that. Doink! Wow, missed that. Over Rudy Gobert, he gets out of the way. Didn't even get a wedgie out of that. Bad luck. Here's Utah's Joe Ingles playing a little defense underneath. He's just standing up. Couldn't believe he was called for the foul on that one. He needs someone to hug. <laughs> well, you're not allowed to hug your teammates anymore, are you? So I guess the uh, the stanchion. Stanchion always provides support. Uh, here's Russell Westbrook and Rajan Rondo, two fiery customers getting into it. It didn't really seem like a whole lot there, but Russ gets called for a T. That's his second. He's gone. Rondo says, you get out of here. <laughs> Ross is like, no, Rondo's like, ah, uh, bye-bye. Uh, prickly Rondo. Gotta love it. 0. 0.9 seconds left in the game. Charlotte up three. LaMelo Ball just needs to inbound to end the game, and he goes off Sabonis' back. It's over. Great move. Crafty. I, I didn't know rookies were allowed to have veteran moves like that. Surprised LaMelo didn't go behind his own back. Yeah. Golden State Warriors certainly know how to move that basketball around, and it's a beautiful thing. But every now and again, they get it wrong. Draymond doinks one. Oh, Steph Curry wasn't paying attention. (laughs) Look at that. Doink. Haven't seen too many doinkers really this season. And after the game, Clay Thompson asked Stephen Curry about it. How did it feel? I've been in that position before to take that ball off the head in the first quarter from Draymond. I felt that same pain, and I just want to hear from your mouth how it felt. If you're around our team uh, uh, long enough with all the passes we make, it's bound to happen. So uh, we, we call that ball hit. Ball hit. <laughs> That's uh, funny. I got a spalding right here on my side of my forehead. That's fine, though, because he's going to hit you in the shooting pocket most of the time. But once in a while, Facts. the batter gets beaned, you know? Facts. Play phenomenal. He had himself a night on the call. He also eviscerated the Pistons' Rodney Magruder for going at Golden State's Juan Toscano Anderson. This was brutal. What's McGruder doing over there? There's a little what are scuffle about? happening. What are you talking about, Juan? And then everything seems to be okay oh there. My God. Clay's figuring out what, what, what's going on over there, Clay. Rodney McGruder. Oh no, this dude might be out the league soon. He's probably mad about that. Who knows? Wow. Shots fired. <laughs> He's over here checking my guy. Uh, you good? That's but- savage. <laughs> Five over warriors. here trying to start something like he's a good player or something. It's like, bro, easy, get out of here. Easy. You might be a... sorry. Easy, all right, we're easy, done. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Clay mic'd up for every game when he returns. Uh, Suns, Maz, Frank Kaminsky 
gets a little bit slippery underfoot there. Goes down, sort of just tries to walk it off. Veteran move there to make out as if there was something on the court and he didn't just get his ankles broken. That's the way you have to do it. Put him on skates. Yeah, here he goes, just like a little stomp. Yeah, yeah. That's relatable. That's how I look on skates too. Paul George didn't get why a play was under review, so Mike Breen tried to help him understand. It's not on you, Paul. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Green, lovely. Uh, Ish Smith goes inside. Tyler Johnson, not quick enough to keep up with that Ish. Look at this. <laughs> Here he goes, slip and down. He gets up pretty quickly though, hoping the cameras didn't see it, but they did. D'Angelo Russell is gonna push Larry Nance out of the Wolves huddle. Larry Nance getting a little cheeky here, but what I want the whoopsie to focus on is D'Angelo Russell's hair. I mean. Look at that. That's the bigger whoopsie, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, those braid curl things going on. Yeah, you got to go one way or the other there, D'Angelo. <laughs> At least put the headband around it. This is another double whoopsie. Whiteside actually does a good job to get position, get the rebound, but he can't score. Okay, this, this is one part of the whoopsie. A couple misses. Ooh. Then going back on defense, he trips over the three-point line. Watch him. Oh! Whoa. And then... Willie Hernan Gomez, <laughs> call him Guillermo this season, he scores. Getting his uh, ankles busted by a ghost. The Knicks have all the numbers, they can't get the rebound. Oh my goodness, look at that, one, two, three of them there. Oh, you're next, Lee. Oh, I know, what a heartbreaker that was. Man, too many people to rebound. <laughs> this could have been a heartbreaker. Chris Paul was having a great game. Down two, 15 seconds left, he just has to tie it with the layup, but he misses, he was too open. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, he needed to cross up Chris Stapp's Porzingis, I think, to hit that shot. He just couldn't believe how much space he had. Booker hit a game winner though, so it was alright. That's right. Here is uh, Blake Griffin, not happy. What's he gonna do? He's gonna turn into a WWE wrestler. Or oh, Hulk Hogan has ripped that jersey. <sighs> That's hard to do. Oh yeah, he's not done. Look at him, he's still going. <laughs> I hope they got a spare one there for him. Uh, Giannis working on his photography during a route of the Pacers. How disrespectful. He had that camera for, for minutes working on his skills. Kind of like when LeBron and the Cavs did the water bottle challenge. Yeah. Uh, when they routed the Knicks. And a uh, friend of the program, Dana Great Day 92 on Twitter, mocked up his LinkedIn. Freelance photographer in sports. Yeah. <laughs> Great Good. job, Dana. Uh, down at the fortress here. Now, Kristaps Porzingis just walks in. <laughs> no one calls it. No one saw it apart from us. Look at this. Porzingis steps inside. Should have been a violation. Gets away with it. The Mavs keep possession and go on to win the game too. Oh, this is a classic little brother move. I love it. LaMelo Ball puts his hand on the shoulder of Shake Milton so he can win the jump ball. I love it. Shake Milton. Oh, did you see that? Are we sure LaMelo Ball's a rookie with all these vet moves he's putting on? Speaking of vet moves, uh, Jimmy Butler and Bradley Beal. Now, who's in, who's got possession there? They both have. Neither both. of them giving it up. They're ready for the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really shouldn't be that close to each other without masks on in the current NBA. Well, if you like bloopers, very solid plays. If you like two daily shows, then make sure to subscribe to No Dunk so you don't miss a thing. Click it! Click it!